Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you my first Red Dead Redemption 2 video and today I bring you 5 super easy ways of making plenty of money but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy red dead redemption videos as i plan on posting much more be sure to subscribe so with a game like red dead if you have picked up this masterpiece you will soon realize after playing it for 10 minutes that money means everything as you can imagine and it's kind of your driving force behind grinding the game to buy better clothes, weapons, horses, camp upgrades and so forth. But money isn't really that easy to come across. Today with this video I'm going to show you 5 super easy ways to earn that money and lots of it. Now I will say, some of these methods require no exploits whatsoever, while others do. Some can make you filthy rich, while others just give you a couple of thousand. Some methods take a little bit of travelling depending on your current position, but most importantly people, none require any real progression in the game. As long as you've gotten to that camp in Valentine, all of these methods I believe can be used. Also I will say, you may already know about these methods, I am a little late to the party with Red Dead as I was away getting married when it was released. So this is more of a guide for noobs like me who are recently new to the game and with the game being so popular, there are many of you out there. Also before we get into it people, a massive shout out to Mod Life Crisis for the help and some of the footage for the video. His channel can be found linked within the video description. A great source for both Red Dead and Destiny, do check him out. Okay so let's get into it and firstly people, exploring the map which is a pretty big one, you will find things called treasure maps. Now these are scattered all over the place and are usually pretty difficult to find. I have found a couple so far and those two I will showcase to you guys. Treasure Treasure maps usually reward you with gold ingots or gold bars. Ingots are worth $300 and gold bars are worth $500. So the first place you want to go to is this cottage pinpointed via the map on screen now. This treasure map ultimately leads you to this position on the map right here. You will notice this tree with a cross on it. Simply follow this short route to this rock, flip this rock over and collect that gold. So the next treasure map is called the Poisonous Trail Treasure Hunt. This one though will take you about 15 minutes to complete. So this treasure map is located within a small building up in the snow so it's probably best to wear some warm clothes if you've progressed past this part already. The building is pinpointed on screen right now. So enter this building and under this makeshift bed is a loot box. Open it to retrieve this treasure map. If you look at the treasure map it's kind of confusing and trust me without a guide guys it will take you ages to complete, that's why I'm here. So this treasure map has a few different locations you have to visit, the first one you can find pinpointed on the screen now.
you will see this tree stump when you get here. Simply walk around it until you get a notification to search the tree. In doing so, you'll get the next step of this treasure search. Again, the map without a guide would be hard to follow. So on screen now is the next location, this leads you. Here you will see a patch of stones with a hole at the centre. Simply search the hole and voila, you will find the next stage, which is the final stage, people. And this leads you to the Elysium Pool, seen pinpointed on your screen right now. Here you have to enter a cave system, which you will need your lamp for, but simply follow the route I take and you will get that gold, people. It is as simple as that. So next up we have a location which will award you two gold bars and a bag of jewellery. This location is known as the Derailed Train location and it's located via the pinpointed position on the map seen on screen now. So there are two carriages right here which behold this loot. The first one is a little pain in the ass to get to, but this one holds the gold. This one we can see is upright, the only way you can get to this is to do a little climb around. The next carriage which beholds the bag of jewellery is on the floor, this one you can just walk into. So let's get the gold first, so follow the route I take, but be careful as it's kind of slippy. You have to do a little bit of climbing and jumping also, but once you are at the top, just jump across to the carriage and locate that gold.
Once you have done that, people climb out and then go into this other carriage and grab this bag of jewels. Simple people, simple money. Okay, so we're going to move on and next up we have a place which rewards you three gold bars for solving a simple puzzle. The statue cave full of nakedness is what I'm calling it. You don't have to do any solving though people as that's what I'm here for, to make you filthy rich bastards. Simple. So once you're at the cave, travel through it. If it's dark, you will need a lamp. If it's daytime, you should be fine. So go into the cave and go to that center statue first. Inspect it and you will draw the statues in your journal. Then what you have to do is press certain buttons in a particular order to get this gold. So what you need to do is first press the button on the statue nearest the cave entrance. Then what you want to do is move right, skipping a single statue and then press this statue. Then move right again, skipping another statue and press this one. Then move right again and press this final statue, skipping none. Upon doing this, the main statue at the center of this cave will open up and it will reward you three gold bars. Absolutely epic guys. Okay, so let's move on to the exploits. So these are not for people who want to play the game how it's supposed to be played. And these are for people who want to get rich super easy, super quick, like me. Okay, so pinpointed on the map, you will see just under the sea within the Matic Pond. Here, there will be a tree stump once you get here. Under the stump, there is a loot crate. Now this exploit is a weird one, some people report it works for them, others report it don't. It was working for my pal, but not for me, so try your luck people in doing this. If it doesn't work for you, it's basically unlimited money. So go to this loot crate, before grabbing the loot, make sure the auto save feature is turned off.
So with the loot box open, you will see there's a little stack of money and a can of beans. Do not pick any of these up. Just leave the box open. Now what you want to do is manually save the game from this position. Upon doing that guys, you want to load up that save. Once you've done that, it will spawn you by this little lake, which is right near this loot box. So simply go back to the loot box and the box will be already opened. then all you have to do people is keep grabbing that money. If this has worked for you, this is basically infinite, meaning you can sit here all day and keep grabbing that money. I have heard people taping down their controllers or using elastic bands while they go to sleep or work or school, returning home or waking up to be seriously rich. The stack is only $20 though, so doing this is probably your best option. I mean, sitting here all day will be quite boring. So it's something you should do when you're taking a break. Now, like I said, this works for some, but not all. As you can see for me, I only got to pick it up twice, but my pal, he could sit here all day, keep grabbing that money. At the moment, I don't know what causes this. And if you do, let everybody else know down below. It could be progression, it could be anything. But there's definitely something there stopping it working for everybody. Okay, so moving on, well, kinda. This next exploit is very similar to that last one. It's been confirmed that the loot box exploit of saving the game while the box has been opened and loading that game back up return to the box, 80% of the time means you can grab that loot from that box indefinitely. So what if you have a box with a gold bar in it? Well people, there is one. Now be warned, depending on your carry limit, earlier on in the game I believe you can only hold 5 gold bars, but I have heard people say you can upgrade to 50 plus slots for gold alone. So if you have the means of upgrading, it's probably wise you do that before going and doing this exploit, as you will only be able to carry 5 gold bars at a time. So the location of this loot box, holding that gold bar can be seen pinpointed on a map on the screen now. The area is a deserted one, the buildings have all been burnt down. So from this position seen on screen now, follow the route seen on screen and you will locate that loot box which holds that gold bar. Now the footage seen on the screen now, the gold bar is picked up straight away, but this loot box exploit I confirm does work here. So again guys, what you need to do is open the loot box but do not pick up that gold bar. Making sure your auto save is turned off. Manually save the game from this position, load up that recent save and simply head back to this loot box. Once here, you should be able to pick up your limit in gold bars. Once full, head to the fence and make that money people, it is as simple as that. And these guys are 5 ways to make you filthy rich. And on that note we have come to the end of the video. Red Dead Redemption is a game I am 100% covering from now on, along with Destiny. So subscribe if that's what you want to see. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support you can by leaving a like. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to turn notifications on. But guys, on that note I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.